Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief over at the serverside.com. You can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. And for now, I wanted to talk to you about how you can install GitLab. That's the on-premise software for GitLab on an Ubuntu 20 instance. And I'm going to do it in about seven minutes or less. So as you can see from the background image here, I've got Ubuntu 20 installed. And right now I want to install GitLab. That's the on-premise edition of the tool. So to start off, I'm just opening up Terminal. I'm going to do a sudo apt-get update and a sudo apt-get install. Maybe I have to type in the correct password there. And there we go. And then a little sudo apt get install is always a, a nice friendly thing to do. And then if we actually want to go and install the on-premise edition of GitLab, the next step is to just make sure that you've got all of the certificates at the ready for SSH and connecting and all of those things. So by the way, I'm not running these commands off by heart. I've actually got them all written down in a separate window. So if you want to take a look at uh, the article over on the server side, it will list all of these things here. Uh, I don't have it off by heart. Uh, and so after doing that, uh, installing the certificates, the next thing to do is go and what am I doing now? Installing Postfix. So that'll be my email server. You know, I don't, I'm not really that interested in the email server. So I'm just going to click OK and say no configuration. I think that looks good for me now. So that will just install it, but not configure anything. Uh, I don't need the email service set up for what I'm doing uh, for all the commits and stuff. I don't want to be constantly getting emails to my email address saying, hey, you're playing around today and you got a bunch of emails for some commits or merges. Um, maybe I'll update that later, but for now, I'm just going to leave it as is. Then I'm going to go and try and get all the packages that I need. So I'm going to now do this uh, curl to packages.gitlab.com that will execute and now here's the funny thing i actually don't think my install is going to work so watch this i've got all the files for gitlab ee in my repository but i don't think gitlab has been updated for ubuntu 20. and so right now if i try and kind of configure my local installation, install GitLab. So you can see I've got, you know, app get install, GitLab EE. It, you're supposed to put in a, a URL for the site so that you can, I mean, that the, that the site has a domain name. Uh, I'm just going to use gitlab.mcnz.com for mine. Also notice I've re removed the S. If you leave the S in there, when this step executes, it's gonna be looking for uh, an SSL certificate. And if you don't have one set up, it's gonna kick out an error. So if you just wanna avoid that error, which I certainly do right now, um, I'm just gonna remove that S there. But yeah, I can actually just demonstrate here. If I just ping gitlab.mcnz.com, you notice I get a, a local host address. So that's just been set up inside of my host file. Okay, so now as I said, I don't think this is actually gonna work. And look at that, it does not work. And that's just because, you know, um, GitLab just uh, hasn't got an update for Ubuntu 20 yet. So if you're following these steps on Ubuntu 18 or 16, Cuttlefish, you wouldn't have a problem. But um, right now I'm gonna have to do a, a couple of maneuvers to make this work and sometimes people say if it doesn't work do a sudo app get update and then do a sudo app search for what you want you can see nothing comes out up if i search for gitlab ce and nothing comes up if i search for gitlab ee so now if you were just doing this normally and i bet you if you look at this video in a month from now maybe two months from now what is it it's july um covid 2020 um uh, it'll probably work in a, another month's time but here's the get around so all you have to do is so that should download the package from gitlab gitlab e13 yeah, i think that'll work so i'm going to throw that command in there now that is going to pull back all of the 
files that I need in order to install GitLab on version 20 of Ubuntu. That's worked. And so now I should be able to just paste this sudo external HTTP again, got rid of the S, it's gitlab.mcnz.com. You can just put localhost or you know whatever you, you wanna to map to locally there. Apt install gitlab EE with the 13 dev. Okay, that looks good. And here we go. We are now in the process of installing GitLab EE. Okay, and it looks like we've got GitLab installed and it's told me that everything should be available at gitlab.mcnz.com. So let's see if this works. I'm gonna open up a web browser, type in gitlab.mcnz.com and look at that. All of a sudden it's asking me to change my password. I believe this is for the root user. So I'll click change your password, save that in the password list sign in as root and password and like this all of a sudden i am now inside of gitlab i can navigate around the git gui just a little bit take a look at some of my projects maybe even create a new project call it gitlab made easy make it public initialize it with a readme click create project and there we go. Now Bob's your uncle. I can go in here. I can manage files in the repository, take a look at commits. I can even set up some CI, CD, take a look at merge requests. I can observe the analytics. I think there's even a spot in here for me to go in and add users to the, to the configuration. So yeah, that's it. So there you go. That's how easy it is to install locally a GitLab on-premise instance and you know right now I've actually got a repository set up already as a GitLab made easy project and there you go that's how you install GitLab the on-premise edition on Ubuntu 20 in about oh about seven minutes or less I think I went a little bit over seven but not much anyways if you want to learn more about GitLab if you want to see the next tutorial in this series of tutorials or you just want to learn more about Git, Java or anything else that happens on the server side head over to the server and you can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ